welcome back. Today we're going to go up to 20 minutes. We're going to be doing another descending ladder and we're going to be taking four exercises and going from 10 repetitions down to two repetitions or as many as we can peel away at <laughs> during 20 minutes. So the time cap is 20 minutes. We're going to need a set of medium to heavy weights, the heavier the better, and a mat, some kind of soft surface or carpet, and of course some water nearby. We have a mantra for today and that I am grateful for what my body can do. So often I hear, and I can catch myself doing this too, us talking about what we don't like about our bodies. But today, for this workout, at least as a practice, and maybe it carries over to the rest of our day in our life, is to focus in on what you can do. Maybe something that you can do today that you weren't able to do a month ago. Maybe you can lift heavier weights. Maybe you can do more repetitions or something or, or do something, a workout a little bit quicker. Whatever it is, think about what you can do that you are grateful for. Just even one thing and hold that in your heart while we move today. Okay, enough talking. We're gonna jump into it. We're gonna pick up those heavy weights, rack them on our shoulders. So bring them up to the shoulders, come to one side of your space. So for my, me, that'll be my map. And we're going to come down and we're going to do side step squats. So we're going to travel one, two, three, four, stand and press. So after we get to the four, you're going to do the overhead press. And that's going to count as your one rep. Okay? So there's a lot to that one rep. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Stand and press. Back down. We got one. Two, three, four. And that's three. Maybe you can move a little bit quicker. One, two, three, and four. Press. Back down. One, two, three, four. Whew. Four reps. Here we go. I'm already feeling these. <laughs> Halfway through. Man, what was I thinking when I planned this workout? If I'm already feeling it and we're just about a minute in, you know it's going to be a tough one. Yes. Don't sell yourself short. Be grateful for that strong body of yours. Here we go. Three more. Two more. One more. We're moving on to plank rows with a push-up. There we go. Did those. Man, oh man. So I'm going to focus today on being grateful that I can still move. Even though I'm feeling under the weather, I still get to exercise and I feel better when I do. Okay, we're going to count the push-ups. For this one, the first one will be the longest set. So it might be the toughest. So you're going to do one row each side and one push up. Here we go. One push up, one row each side counts as one rep. Go into 10. Try and steady those hips. Control the core as you come down. That's three. Oh. Five, and you can always do, if you need to, the push-up on the knees, but come back up to the toes for those rows. Seven. Eight. Two more, you got this. Grateful for that body of yours. <laughs> I'm getting stronger every day. Last one here. You can do it. Okay. Come on to our back. And we're going to do a leg lower away and a chest press. This will be one to modify <coughs> if you are healing a diastasis recti abdominal separation. And just do the chest press, maybe for additional reps while we do the leg lowers. Okay, legs come up, and we're gonna press 
the weights and the legs up and then lower the legs away. That's one, two, so I gotta fix my top. Did not think this through when I was planning out the workout. <laughs> okay, sorry, okay. Press, lift the legs. Lower the legs away as the arms rest. That's three, four, five, with control as you lower away, six, seven, eight, if your low back comes off the mat, lower a little bit less, nine, so the legs don't have to go quite as far away, and one more, ten, Woo. all right, one more exercise, for this round of 10, we've got a reverse lunge to a front kick with a bicep curl. Okay, already five minutes in, but you're gonna stick with me, right? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna reverse lunge right leg back. Drop that knee almost all the way down. Curl the arms up as you kick the right leg forward. Other side, left. Foot drops back, curl and kick. Woo. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Nice job. We're moving on to eight reps. Grab water if you need it. We're going to do the side step to overhead press. So with a descending ladder, you can do it with breaking down, peeling off one repetition each time, but I'm doing evens. So we're going to go from 10 to 8 to 6, 4, and then 2. Okay. Pick up those weights. Come to the side of your mat. Bring the weights up. Squat low and step, 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 and press. Step, 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 and press. Three, four, five. Seven. So these sidestepping squats are great to do if you have bands as well. Wrap them around your thighs. Did I do an extra one on you? Let's stop there. I think that was eight. <laughs> I think I did one extra. Okay. Push-ups with rows. Going for eight if I can keep track. Okay, here we go. One push-up. One row each side. so far. Got four more to go. Seven. You got one more. your back, lie on down with those weights. Get your top out of the way. <laughs> we got one more. Here we go. Bring the weights. <sighs> oh, that's cruel. The ice cream truck's going by. <laughs> now I know why I don't film usually at this time. School's getting out, so all these kids walking by yelling. <laughs> okay, here we go. Going for eight, press, and leg lower. Good, two, 
lower away. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Nice. All right. Come on up. We have eight. Reverse lunge with a curl. So for this one, we're doing each side counts. Sometimes I do it where you count the right and the left, but we're going to just stick with counting each rep. Okay. Right leg back. As you stand, kick and curl. Switch leg. Left leg back. Stand, kick and curl. Don't lose your balance. <laughs> Okay, this is three. Keep the shoulders over the hips. Try not to pitch forward. It's five. Six. Seven. And eight. Ten minutes down, halfway through the time, but we got the two biggest rounds done. nice thing about these is that they get a little bit easier each round. Thank goodness, right? <laughs> Be hard to make them get, get more challenging. Okay, we got those side step squats for six reps. The good news is, is if you get down to two, if you finish the ladder before 20, you're done. Here we go. Side, 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 and press. So you want to do about three to four squats to cover your space that you have. And six. All right. Plank, push up and row. Or push up and plank row. Here we go, first six. Keep those hips as line in line with the shoulders as best you can. Lower down, row up, both sides. Halfway through. Two more. working hard effective. <laughs> you can't really work hard without resting well. So even in our workouts, we got to get some good rest in there. Strategic. Don't sell yourself short, <laughs> but definitely take as much rest as you need to be strong and solid with your form. Here we go. Six. Press and lower away. Two. Three, four, lift the hips up, five, got one more, and six. Work in the chest and the core. Okay, come on up. Six, reverse, lunge, kick and curl. I'm getting sweaty. Okay, here we go. We got this. Step it back, right side, stand, curling kick. Lots of, whoa, lots of core work, helping to keep you steady. Halfway through, two more. Awesome, okay. Whew, we're already back at the top. That's right, we get to go to four of the sidestepping squats in just a second. You 
can be resting. If you're ready, you can go along with me. If you're not ready, listen to your body, keep resting. And join us when you can. Okay, get those weights up there. Squat down, travel, 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 press. Back down, <laughs> one, two, three, press. Okay, done with those sets of four. Move on to push ups. These are killer. All right. Remember, you can always default to those knees in this set. I prefer usually with push ups that you put your hands up, but in a set like this, and you're getting towards the end, it's easier to just put the <laughs> knees down and then rather than move into a place where you can get your hands up. So, but when you can and you're doing push ups, just push ups, get those hands up if you need to modify. Under 20 minutes. We'll see. We got about four and a half minutes to go. Okay. Come onto our backs for press on lower. See once you get past those tens and eights, the six four two goes pretty quick, which is nice. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Legs up. Press. Lift the hips up. Lower them away. Lower the legs away. Press through the hips. Lift up. They'll come in a little bit, but you want to think of the feet going more up towards the ceiling as you press the weights up rather than coming in. They'll come in a little bit. Last one. Come up to standing. We got reverse lunge, kick, and curl. Real quick sip of water. So, if you find that you finish the first 20 minutes from 10 to 2, you can start at 12. Try that one. I'm like, ha, 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 have fun with that one. <laughs> or you can work back up. If you get down to 2, you can build back up to 4, 6, 8, 10. Lots of ways you can do it. Okay. Lunge back, right? Stand, kick, and curl. Traveling squats. Bring those weights up. Just two reps here. Make them count. That's one. That's two. Plank, rows, and push up. Here we go. with you. Okay. Hips lift up. Press the weights up. Lower away. Lift and press. Lower away. Last lunges. We can do it. Come on, ladies. Show me what you got. <laughs> back, lunge, kick and curl. Other side, kick and curl. We are officially done with a minute 45 on the clock. So, I promised you, you could stop here <laughs> if we made it before the 20 minute time cap. I'm honestly surprised because the first round was so slow with the 10 and we basically did that in like 10 minutes and then we got the rest of it done. The rest of the repetitions and I'm listening. So we are going to stop here if you're ready, or if you want to join me, I'm going to build up to four again. I'm going to start, I'm going to keep going. So if you want to keep going with me to get to that full 20 minutes, 
Don't be shy. Don't sell yourself short. Jump with me. We're going to do four reps. Building back up on the ladder. Climbing back up. That's one. Two, because once we get started, we almost always can keep going a little bit longer if we're feeling good. If you're done, honor that and be done. That's totally fine. Okay, that was four push-ups and rows. We've got 40 seconds here. Let's see what we can do. That's two. Remembering, right? The rock star is the one who shows up every day and either works hard or rests well. We're just filling in that placeholder in our day. Every day we commit to that intentional movement. Some days we're going to do this <laughs> and we're going to get dripping in sweat and get muscles burning and really push ourselves. And other days we're going to slow it down and rest well. We're going to do that restorative yoga. We're going to go for a walk. And I'll tell you, my friend, that sometimes those are the hardest days. The active rest days are so easy to skip and do nothing and be like, oh, that's my rest day, I don't have to do anything. But listen, that's not intentional movement. Just resting and not doing any kind of intentional movement to recover, where you're doing some gentle stretching, where you're maybe going for a walk, that is just as important and it's so easy to skip. So I encourage you, work as hard at that as you just did today. All right, bye, have a good day, I'll see you tomorrow.